down. All right. Actually, let's check and see what's on the map. We are live. Ah, you're in. Okay. Okay, I think I'm... What are your systems checks again for uh, taking off? I do the... Set the trim. Push that trim button in for a second. Uh, then we go to... Flaps to half. Taxi lights, launch retract is up, emergency brake is off, master arm is off. Right before you started, did you activate your radar, your flare dispensaries and all that? Oh uh, yeah, okay, we've got menu on the right screen. Then uh, attack radar on. Do you set it up to anything like the widest, the biggest Either. blocks, biggest distance? Yeah. yeah, that's how you start off. Maybe. 160 miles. Mm -hmm. And then uh, four blocks, six blocks. Mm -hmm. Whoop. Uh, the widest angle and you zero in um, not a lot on the left we got what we're seeing in our HUD I guess you go and change that um, oh, down the bottom ECM that on and then do a bit test under the middle screen for ECM all right lots of beeps okay what about this barometer uh, the altitude underneath the right screen uh, uh, what do you call it resetting uh, calibrating that like we did yesterday because it's currently is 29.92 wasn't it 29.15 or so 29.25 did you become more familiar with the airspace you'll remember that's good that you remembered but you can ask ATC when you request takeoff yep. they'll tell you what the altimeter is okay so to do that I hit what is it again comms button or uh, backslash backslash near the backspace about enter. Yep. Okay. Request. 
Request taxi to runway. That's all I do. There's got to be more than that, right? What do they give me more information when they feel like it's, it? No. So that's the shitty part about DCS, and they're gonna do an ATC overhaul. So generally speaking, because you're here, when you yeah. get debriefed, you're told what the altitude. Like before you even get out to your aircraft, you know. So let's just go ahead. Like as you're coming in to land. Yeah. Then I'll get it. It's going to tell you it's 2915, but since you're down here, they assume you already know, and it's still set, so, yeah, 2915. Yeah. Okay, and to set that, I, that's right, I click on the little bottom left knob on it, and uh, turn it forever. Right to the <laughs> right or left, yep. Or left click with the mouse and move it. Drag it to the left. Yeah. It's way faster. Oh, really? You can drag it all the way to the left of the screen. Okay, I'm doing that now. So if I put it on the very right hand side of the screen, then I can uh, move it further. Yep. Let me see if I can do that. If I sit right back and view it from a wide angle, I can then do it even further. Extreme. But I also need to be able to see what I'm <laughs> what I've got it at. Okay, let's see. Come on, track it out. Okay. Should be asking for this data about two nautical miles away. That way, it has to give you time to set up your screens, your altimeter, etc., etc., etc. Nine one five. Okay. One fiber. What's that? Two nine one five. Yep. And you're gone. <laughs> yep. You were really looking down. My loadout is aerial, by the way. Um, there's a lot of air targets around, so I'm gonna go try to take out that bomber off the coast there. Heading two one one. Roger that. I'm just going to practice my landing. I want to get fishing at that. <laughs> the best way to do it, fly around, do, do, 
So, at 130 knots, you could walk away from your computer for five minutes and come back and you'll see that you've only gone five nautical miles. Like, it's really slow. Uh, but if you cruise around in um, the AOA uh, on speed, you'll find that the aircraft is more maneuverable. Uh, but anytime you turn, she'll want to sink. So, yeah. right before you do the maneuver, you apply just a little bit of power and yeah. then do the maneuver. She'll stay nice and level. Yeah. When you go to straighten out, pull out power out. Yeah, I'm, I'm just think, been thinking, like I said here this morning, I th think I might not have been using full flaps. So, I'd like to test the, give that a quick test and see. If it's a lot easier, if I can, you know, if I've got no problems, then I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, powering up. Roll it. Flaps are at half. Gear up, flaps up. <coughs> See if there's any. Oh, that dude's in a transport helicopter. Okay, I'm eight miles out now, I'll turn back around. Okay, so before you come into five miles, you slow down to 350. Speaking? Yeah, oh, are you talking to me? Yes. Yep. Yeah. You want me to say it again? Say again? Yeah, if, you, if you're within five to ten miles of an airport, you should not be doing 382 knots. Unless you're leaving the airspace. You should not be at 800 feet. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to do a care overhead break into a landing? Overhead break into a landing. So, remember when no. I said you fly past the aircraft 1.5 nautical miles and hard break left, and you'd fly the pattern, then you come in and land? Is that what you're trying to do? No, I'm just trying to um, circle oh, around, okay. circle around the, okay. the base and do what you were telling me to do yesterday. Oh, gotcha. That's why I'm asking you. Okay, yeah, you want to do that at 2,000 feet. Okay. That's the taxi altitude. Your speed brake is out. It's hard to climb. You're increasing to 280, 290, you're going too fast. Ah, so I thought you were 350, so you're yeah. 250 at 2000. No, 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 you're, you're increasing your speed too fast, meaning 
you're almost at 2,000. There's no reason to go back up to 300 knots. Really, okay. what you want to do is you want to keep your. If you want to do some practice around this, you put your speed at 300, at two, uh, sorry, 250 to 300 knots at t altitude 2,000. Okay. So you decide if you want to do 250 or 300. The aircraft becomes much more maneuverable at low speeds at 250. But you're climbing through 2,500. I know. Now yeah. I'm bringing it down. Okay. Um, Sorry? Are your flaps up or down? When I came in, I'm, uh, I am uh, I just came in and I first off, let's, I'll let you know. I think my flaps are up. Okay. So I'm just doing a simulation like I'm coming in. So I had my flaps up. I've still got my gear up. So 250 to 300 or 2,000. So climb. Need me to climb back up from 1,500 to 2,000? Well, you're almost, you're closer to 250. Yeah. Knots, so you should do, you should be orbiting the airport 250 knots at 2,000 feet. Just as long you're orbiting, as long as you don't fly over the runway, so you can turn early, you can turn late, you can do a big circle, small circle, as long as you don't fly over the runway. that was uh, 250 knots plus or minus 10 and 2,000 feet plus or minus 100. That's right. I was just going to bring the speed up before you said it. But yeah, I remember the pass fail Guidelines. So you're you're within parameters at the moment. So can you do one orbit around the airport while maintaining all those those pro parameters? Looking good though. You're about to drop through nineteen thousand, nineteen hundred though. No. Whoa, track I uh. Bit. Yeah, I'm trying to speed it up. Way around the circle here, orbit. So, oh, you just fell through the 1900.
Hey. Through nineteen hundred. Okay, so we'll just give this to you since it looks like you're holding it pretty well. So, can you do this? Yeah. Fifteen hundred feet, plus or minus one hundred, at two hundred and twenty knots. Fifteen hundred at two twenty. Manually, no autopilot. No autopilot. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Okay, we're coming in. We're in range now. Yeah. In your very strict guidelines. <laughs> Alright, so do this. Make a 45 degree left hand turn and maintain those perimeters. So just, if you're looking at a clock, 12 o'clock, just turn to your 9 o'clock. In turn? Uh, yeah. Turn left to your 9. Yeah, 45 degrees. Nope, dropping through 200, 200 knots. Uh, a little high. Yep, so go wings level. Definitely two level. And then you reset your parameters. T20, 1500 feet. 220? I, I, I think it was 200 then. No. 1500. 220, Altitude. Can close the speed. Yeah, we're in parameter again. All right. Go straight and level. You don't. You don't have to orbit anymore. Straight and level. Do this. Stay at fifteen hundred feet. Increase your speed to two hundred and forty-five knots. At fifteen hundred altitude. You're just increasing your speed to two forty-five. You ready for this? Yep. Alright, put your gears and your flaps all the way down and maintain 1500 feet. Do not go above 1600 feet. Flaps all the way down, gear all the way down. Maintain my speed at 245 at 1600. I'll slow down to 180, okay. 180 knots. At 1600 you feet. You're out there. Uh, put your gears in. Put your gears and flaps in. And in? speed up. Yep. Gears and flaps in and speed up. So you're at 2,200 feet right now. Remember, so you didn't want to exceed 1,600 feet. So you could do a 180 degree. So you're going back inland. So this is the this is the quickest way to learn AOA. And do it, execute it flawlessly every time. So um, you got down pretty quick. Cool. You want to increase your speed to 220. Yeah, I feel like there's something else. My flaps. Look at that. My flaps are not. Your flaps will automatically come down if you drop below a certain speed. Okay, that's what's going on. So, so just set your flaps to up and increase your speed to yep. 220. When do they come down? Less than 200? Uh, uh, I think it's 180 or something like that. They start to incrementally, as you increase your speed, they'll incrementally come up. Yeah. So they don't, okay. it's not that it comes, it doesn't just 
fall down. It just slowly, as you start to get in the stall speed area, it'll increment to keep you afloat. You want me to get to 250 at no, 1500? No, 220. 220 at 1500. Now go up to 245. Maintain 1500 feet, plus or minus 100. If you're about to fall through your parameters on your altitude, you just fell 200. Let's try this other exercise. It, it, it all lines up, I promise you. So, you notice your velocity vector on your screen? It's, uh, yep. it's all over the place. It's not on the horizon line. It's above it. Sometimes it's below it. Can you just do this? Just I want you to increase. You can do it on your own. You don't have to look at the speed. I want you to just slowly increase your speed, but keep your velocity vector on the horizon. And then I want you to come back from it, but keep it on the velocity vector. And then... You know, you, you can go up to 400 knots if you want, or you know, 700. Uh, obviously, I don't recommend it. I'd probably keep it between 220 and 300, maybe. But all you're doing is just keeping that velocity vector with the on the horizon. That's it. Okay. Ever since I said that, you've been locked in at 1660, 1650. You you haven't broken even a 15, a 15, uh, uh. Um, 15 feet uh, deviation. You're locked in at 1652. Because that's what I'm focusing on. Like, right. before I'm focusing on two things, like my speed and my altitude, you know. Alright, so come down. You're going way too fast. How, uh, how, what, what, I thought you down. said up to the high Yeah, speed. I said I wouldn't recommend it. Just keep it between like 300 and 400. Okay. So, like, you're locked in. You're, you're deviated about 20 feet. The thing is, you have to focus on... you. If you look at your, you might want to slow down some more speed brakes, if you would. Um, I'll do a 180. So can you do a 180 turn while keeping your velocity vector between the horizon bar? Fifteen hundred or sixteen hundred. Speed up just a little bit, just a little bit. Don't worry about your. Okay, you can come off a little bit. All right, there you go. You might want to hit if you want to hit Control Enter. That way you can see where your bar is, your thing. Oh yeah, Control Enter. Right. I believe you're one eighty now, so. So that was pretty good. You literally maintain well until that last until you leveled out. You went you dropped to fourteen thirty. But within that timeline I said, hey, just keep it right there on the horizon. You didn't break twenty five feet. You were just locked in. So I, I I don't know I can only hey, do this, do this. I don't know what you're focusing on at any given time. But you should be looking at your velocity vector while you're looking at your speed and your uh, altitude. Your vertical indicator, uh, your speed indicator, sorry, your altitude on your HUD, up right above it, it says how fast or slow you're rising or dropping. Yeah. When you're at these low speeds, that number should not exceed 100, meaning if you let it sit here long enough, you will climb 100 feet per minute, or you will lose 100 feet per minute. Um, so, 
Where are you at? Where are you at? You are headed back towards the airport. Yep, checking. Oh, yeah, you're, well, you're heading away from me, but you're fine. You're going pretty slow. Um, look at this thing going over here. Okay, so. So can you do this, 245 knots at 1,500 feet? Yep, 245 at 1,500. Do you want me to circle around the air bases? Uh, it's up to you. If you th if you can orbit at 245 and 1,500, that's fine. If you need a straight line, that's fine. Up to you. Yeah, it definitely makes it tougher turning. I'll try. Oh, I just wait. Almost exceeded one, then exceeded the other. Two, four. Come on, come down. And speed. Cage your, you can cage your hat by pulling back the red hat on your thumbstick so it doesn't float on you. It, it might look like it doesn't do anything, but it does. Yeah, did I do it then? I believe I saw it do it on your screen. I saw something happen. You'll know it's not caged because some of your green stuff will float outside the your display. Alright, so you're at 235 at 1500. 1500, 500. 1555, sorry. 245 now at 1580, dropping. Can you make another left hand turn and cross the runway or across the coastline? Don't go over the water. Yep. Speed backing off. But now I'll you shouldn't back off your speed if you're... No, no, I'm turning. turning, that's what I'm just... I was going to wait Gage. a little longer, but now I'm upping it. Okay, the runway's on your left, and I'll tell you when it's perpendicular. Then you're going to make another left-hand turn for 45 degrees. So you're just going to orbit, actually. Your yeah. orbit should take you left. So in 10 seconds, just go ahead and level off and in that direction towards the mountains. Alright, go ahead and level off. Yeah. Alright, are you ready for this one? Yeah. Alright, this, this is what you're going to do. When you execute this maneuver, you're going to do it just like this. You're going to set your throttle to zero, flaps down, no, gears down, flaps down, and keep your aircraft from climbing through 1,500 feet. Maintain 1,500 feet, but don't drop below 1,400 feet. So I'll say that again. You might want to speed up to 250, by the way. Yeah. And um, you're going to drop your uh, throttle all the, way, all the way to zero, gears down, flaps down, then you're going to keep your aircraft from going above 1600 and below 1400. Yep. Whenever you're ready. Okay. You broke 1600. Yeah, I know. Alright, now increase your speed to 140 knots. 
I'm at 160. Bringing it down to 1500. Trim, uh, trim nose up when you're ready, and keep it level flight at 1400. Yo. Right, so go ahead and get AOA. So put your velocity vector in the center of the E and decrease power. You're climbing, you're climbing. Yeah, um. Your power movement should be smooth. So you need to be working on one, but not both at the same time. Either you're gonna set the E on the E bracket, the vector on the E bracket, or the E on the horizon. It's up to you. Powering up. Trying to get the vector onto the E. You're gonna climb through two down the A. Yeah, now I'm gonna freaking power off again. Cause it's just constantly freaking seesawing again. Okay, here's some advice. You need to increase your speed and maintain 140. And level flight. You need to use your control to keep yourself level. Pull back on the stick, whatever you have to do to stay at 140 and wings level. So remember when I said I think you're I think you're forgetting one valuable thing and I think you're forgetting um, you need to muscle the aircraft like you cannot let that nose rise you need to push forward or pull back to get keep the nose up and then okay. while you're trimming at the same time you need to okay. remember I said, yeah I was never time. doing that last night yeah. <laughs> I'm doing it now I'm, because you just told me yeah, you need to you need to make a left hand turn and climb because you're gonna hit those trees. Yeah. Um. But yeah, you're literally gonna strong hold, strong arm the airplane to keep it before come climbing. Yeah. And keep it from dropping. Um. But right now you need to slow down just a little bit because you're. Well, I'm 30 seconds ahead of you. I'm at 157 no, knots. I'm watching. I'm watching you on the server. Oh. You're at 150. You need to be at like 140. Okay. And you need to be trimming. You need to be trimming those up. Because your your vector, if your yep, vector, yep. sorry, if the e bracket e bracket is above your vector, then you need to trim those up. 140 and okay, I've trimmed it. Now it's at the top of the e. Now it's in the. And I want to be at a six. What is it? 1500 feet plus or minus 100 and 140 knots. Ign ignore. Ignore the speed and the altitude right now. Just put the E in the center, of the bra uh, vector in front of the E, yeah. and the E on the horizon. And you'll see what happens when I do that. Then the other two will go freaking <laughs> <You're at, laughs> out the window. You're at you're at eight you're at eight point oh angle of attack. You're at the right angle for your E bracket. Well, that just went bad. I don't know what just happened there. I just let go of the throttle and I'm pushing the I mean sorry the stick I let the stick go now when I'm holding it the nose down here let me let me give you this one piece of advice once you have the vector on the E there's no need to pull back or push forward on the stick anymore okay if it's if it's anywhere well, I'm in letting the e go bracket, now you and then the vector, to. and then the vector goes above the E when I let go of the stick, and now I'm correcting the vector on the E without any stick, and I've got it in the middle. So did you hear what I said about when that vector is in the E, you no longer push forward; you control where it is with the uh, trim. Yeah, that's what I just did, and that's okay, okay. why I was doing. What I was doing last time. 8.1, which is perfect. Yeah. 8.1. So, yeah, your angle of attack. Remember, it's 8 degrees. Your nose okay. is 8 degrees up in the air, which is on speed. Okay, you see you on your HUD? You see on your HUD the little donut on the left side of your screen? 
on the HUD, the left side of the HUD, ah, oh, yeah, left side of the HUD, on that left of the frame of the HUD, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Left, yeah, left of the frame, that tells you you're on speed. The red, yeah. The okay. Right, so this is what you want to do, um, don't kill yourself, meaning in the game, don't kill yourself, you're going to trim up and, dish and mess up your angle of attack, just trim, trim up so your nose comes up. And look what that thing does, the donut. Okay. Yep. It's telling you your nose is too high and you need to come down. Or it'll tell you your nose is too low, you need to trim up. Yeah. So that's what that's the only thing that it's there for. That's that doing. Yep. I'll trim down and see what happens. Yep. Okay. Cool. So now you should be able to do that. Now I'll let you do your thing. Just bringing the vector on to the middle of the E without any stick. Now. Yeah, last night I was not using any stick. I was just all trim. But I guess you use stick until you get to a certain... Yes. Once, once, once you're your vector is inside your E, it's all trim at that point. But you're trimming okay. to get, you're muscling the aircraft while you're trimming at the same time um, to get that to get that E bracket in that vector. It's like a mini game. Yeah, to get the, <laughs> yeah, to get the vector into the E, yeah. Yeah. And then once the vector's in the E, then you can let go of the stick and there's all trim. Okay. Right, so That's just probably stay, what I was missing right last night. Yeah, just stay right here at this angle of attack, and I want to just walk you through what you did, because yeah. in a second, you're just going to put your gears and flaps in, and you're going to go full throttle in a second, and you're going to try it again. So, yeah. I'll tell you what ha I'll tell you what happens uh, when you ch uh, come into the angle of attack, or you go to do the maneuver. What happens is, you pull your throttle back, you put your gears down, and you put your flaps down. So, what happens... You've increased the you've increased surfaces at the bottom of your aircraft, and the flap surfaces are gonna pull your aircraft up. Yeah. You have to just push forward on yeah. the stick. You're gonna yeah. push forward pretty yeah. hard. Yeah. Just to keep the nose as close to the horizon as possible. Yeah. While you're watching your speed, your altitude yeah. does not matter in this case. You know okay. why? Because if you if you keep the vector on the horizon, you won't climb that much. Yeah. So what's going to happen is, when your speed drops to about 150, 140, the nose is going to come flying down on you. This is when you need to trim the nose up and add power at the same time. Yeah. Okay. Because as your nose, as your as your um, E bracket starts to come down, that means your nose is about to follow it. So you start yep. trimming your nose up, and you start adding power because because your air, your nose is coming down at the same time that the bracket is coming down. So, so yep. I want you to try something here. So yep. you're holding it pretty good, man. This is like perfection. Uh, if you could see this, um, you'd probably be jealous at how good you're doing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so do this. You're gonna increase your power until you get to about 150 knots. And you're gonna pull your gears in, and then you're gonna pull your flaps in. Make sure you're at 150 knots, so you'll start to stall. Free speed to 150. You're gonna you're gonna go almost full throttle. And gear and flaps now. Yep. So now keep going. You need to increase your speed and look dramatically. Done. Full afterburner. Okay. Come out of afterburner. Okay. You're gonna not exceed 250 knots. Oh, oh, that was perfect. I did that. Nah, you. It, 258. Mind, you win. That was pr actually pretty good. So 250. Go ahead and make a left-hand turn. Maintain. Well, you drop altitude. Maintain 1500 feet. Yeah. Or 1200 feet. Sure. Why not? Okay. 1200. 250. That's pretty good, though. Um, you just kind of climbed a little bit, and you went from yeah. 1300 to 2200. So you actually on. flew back into the taxi pattern. If aircrafts are hanging out there, you ran into their runway or whatever. But all right, so you're holding 
Yeah, it looks like you're settling on 1,100 feet or 1,200. Uh, you decide. Yeah, that's 1,200. Okay. So you're at the speed needed to lower your gear and your flaps. And the only thing you need to look for is that E bracket. Once your gears are fully down, that E bracket shows up. And yep. what you're it's gonna it's gonna start at the top of your screen, and then it's gonna slowly come down. And then you need not slowly, it's gonna quickly come down. You just need to trim up and add a little bit more power. I would say 20% power. Yep. Okay. So when do you want me to pull the gear down? Nope. 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 You're going to set your power to zero, put okay. your gears down and your flaps down, and level flight. Okay, right now? Uh, as long as you're below 250, it's up to you. Power down, gear down, flaps down, done. Yep. Now keep the nose from rising, and just keep it on the horizon, that's all you got to do. Once the velocity vector starts to e bracket comes down, you need to start putting adding a little bit more power and trimming up. Once the e bracket starts coming down, more power. Here we go. Oh, I'm trying to hold it level. It's starting to come down now. More power coming. Fifty percent more power. Too fast. Too fast. There you go. Half and a half. Oh, trim nose up. Trim nose up. Just that indicate if if your if your e bracket is above you five degrees, you need to trim nose up. If it's up there, trim nose up, and you, it'll e come down. E dropping, you. so I need I speed, power, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I would say every time you're trimming up, you should be adding power. Trimming up, adding power. You're there. You're at eight What you're speed eight do we degrees. want? What speed do you want me to be at? You know, Doesn't just matter. put it. Just put, right the vector. You don't worry. We don't horizon. worry about speed. We worried about AOA. Okay. Just put it on the bracket, on the E, and then put the E on the horizon. Yep. And then speed will take care of itself and altitude. Yep. Eight degrees. <laughs> that was a lot faster than the last time. <laughs> Pretty good stuff, man. So if you what you want to do is take your take your throttle up to mill, uh, like not quite afterburner, but mill. And when it passes 150, put your gear up, put your flaps up, and then bring your speed down so you don't go into 260 knots. Hold Let's on. try that one more time. I want to make sure that wasn't a fluke. <laughs> okay, I didn't really collect everything you just said because I'm still trying <laughs> using all my. <laughs> Mental processing power of keeping this going. <laughs> oh, okay. No worries. I'm man. still trying to balance. You're doing pretty good. This. You're holding your AOA. Yeah. I'm trying to perfect it. Keep it in the middle. Okay, so what'd you say? Um, <laughs> well, why don't you try this? Because. Look at that. Before you land. Yeah. In, in this position right here, you have to make two turns in this position. Every time, every degree you turn, you're gonna lose more and more altitude. Yeah. yeah. So you, you have to put equal power. amount of power in while yeah. you're turning. If you're doing yeah. a hard bank, which you should not be doing, 30 degrees is the max bank for AOA of eight degrees. Okay. You should not be increasing or decreasing your altitude when you're doing this. More power with no bank, you'll climb. Not enough power with bank, you'll sink. So knock yourself out. 30 degree bank. Whoa, smooth. Perfect. That was nice and smooth too. That bank uh, is a little harsh. That's not 30 degrees. Uh, I think you have the wrong tick. That's the second tick. Left to right. Yep. Second tick, yep. which I think is actually 10 degrees. So I think that first yeah. one is 5, the half tick. No, that little right. tick is 5. The next one is 30. First tick is 5, the next one is 30? I believe I believe it's 10. Maybe it's 10 you're sinking. Yeah, I know. Let me look at this for you. No. 
I don't know the degrees or is, is if that I don't know what that little tick is because I, I hardly use it. But I know for a fact, 100%, that next tick is 30 degrees bank angle. 100%. Um, I don't know what that little one is though. The second tick is what? 100%. The second tick right by your yeah. Uh, I can't use it now. But second tick from the center of your to left to right. Sorry, yeah. from center to left. The second tick is a 30 degree bank. What? Yes. Okay. Just, have you played any of the training missions? Yeah. It even tells you points. Not, not, not on the Hornet yet. I haven't done anything on the Hornet. You've been my trainer. So I'm not. Like any aircraft. Yeah. The A10, uh, the, the Viper. Hold on. One second, sorry. Yes, that is 30 degrees. You can research it at a later time and tell me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, I was just like, from what I was doing last time, I thought maybe the first one was five, and then the you're gonna second. You're going to hit the power lines if you don't climb. Yeah, I'm hitting it. You will crash. Um, I thought I the second one was. On those power lines. Yeah, I think you can hit those lines. Yeah, I thought the second one was ten. Then the next one was twenty. Then the next one was thirty. Yeah. Because I think because if you if you take it hot, you're playing high and fast enough, and you make those degree changes, you'll notice that okay, yeah, that doesn't. The degrees com compared to the horizon doesn't make sense. Okay, have we got ninety degrees? On those notches? For roll? I believe so. Let's I think see. It goes all One, two, three. You better put a lot of power in. I know. <laughs> and a lot of nose up. Oh, I can actually see in the play simulator. That's all, it only goes to three. Well, Sorry. four notches of one. Come the down, first come one. down. You're yeah, yeah. I just was testing the... Well, I can actually see your bank what? angle because I'm looking at your aircraft. I can see your bank, your pitch, your G, your yeah. LA, your RPM. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, then. Well, here we go, then. Um, let's... T tell me what I'm at. Tell me well, what get, I'm... Get, get on AOA first before you start... I'm on, I'm on the first notch right now. Okay. That says five... It says you're at a negative, negative five degree bank angle. Okay. So what about to the other side? Yep. I just you're did at it. Positive five degree bank angle. It is what I fuck. What I said it was. See. <laughs> and then the wait, next wait, wait, one. The second. The second notch now. So that's ten degrees. Keep going. Is that what well, you're seeing? On speed. No, you're, you're, you're all over the place. I can't. All right, that's 15 degree bank angle. 15? Well, maybe you miss. Maybe it's miss reading it. No, maybe your wall. Well, I'm, I'm looking at. I can't tell because I'm looking at your stream, but I don't sure. So it says here you're holding a 15 degree bank angle. Really? On so the second, second notch. notch. Yeah, the second okay. notch. Okay, so do a 30 do a 30 degree bank angle and, a, and maintain AOA. Okay, that's the last notch, which is the. Th First, second, third. You know what? That does look more like 30 degrees when you look at it across the horizon. I was wrong. I'm yeah. always right, man. No, See? Geez. You'll learn this pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably forget in 20 minutes, man. So <laughs> you might have to remind me. I was saying it when I was doing it last night. I was like, this feels like 30 degrees. It looks like 30 degrees to me. <laughs> Is that the last mark? Yeah. Though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah. See if I look. Okay. You're gonna hit the water. I know. This time. I know. That's why I'm powering up. <laughs> Woo! All right, you can come off the afterburner, or you're just gonna. Hit the <laughs> okay. Which direction am I heading? That way. Just bring the you're east at slow. Yeah. Uh, you're too slow. You yeah. I'm bringing it.
All right, so in the in the Hornet on the carrier, you have to make a your first. You have to start a thirty degree bank turn and slowly roll out of roll out of it. Well, well, I'm not. This is pretty advanced, so you may or may not nail this. I mean, it doesn't matter. You start your bank at thirty degrees and you slowly roll out without losing without with losing a little bit of altitude, a hundred feet per sec a minute. Okay. That's tight. Trying to bring my height up to 1500. Well, actually, before I was at 1200, so I guess I'll just sit here at 1200. Keep it low. Keep it interesting. Dropping a little bit, so I'm gonna bring them ma manually manhandle it up to. Oh, I dropped below 1100. Fail! What are you doing? Fail! What happened? I was manhandling it, trying to get it above 1100 before I. Up to 1200, but it. dropped below the parameter. 1200 oh. plus or minus 100. Yeah, now I'm doing it again. Need more. There we go. Okay, we're at 1270 and we're dropping back down. More power. Kind of well, too high now. Bringing it down. Heading south down the coast now. Your AOA is out of parameter. It is now, though. Yeah, I've got to do some trimming. I've been focusing on the altitude. Well, you don't really need to focus on the altitude as long as the ease on the horizon. Yep. Okay. my excuse and I'm sticking to it I just want to say this though there's no situation where you'll leave your throttle and it'll just stay on the horizon yeah and yeah it's a constant game yep you're still not trimmed to 8 degrees you're at 8.5 Vector on the E bracket. Yeah, just did it. Where am I? Where am I? I'm way up here. So you to the north. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm seeing the blue marks down there where I'm heading. Okay, so I'll just keep on coming down the coast here. Yeah, you're fine. You're headed right to the airport. Yep. You're just how many miles? Let me see here. I'll tell you. You are eight miles away from the airport. ATCU in. So what I want you to do right now. While you're in AOA, I want you to turn to a heading of 99. Maintain out. Maintain uh, 800. Sorry, we'll go maintain 800 feet. That's fine. Just, what? Just your back. I'll get 99 first here, and then roll the rest. 
or fall into place. With, with just your throttle, I need you to increase your altitude. Yeah, I am. It's coming up. I don't want to be too hard on it. I have three more vectors for you. Let me know when you're ready for your next one. Three more vectors? Yeah. I'm going to ask you to do a couple things. Here. I know, it's wobbling. You need to climb your little 800. Okay. Don't worry about... I'll just let it let you rise. Just climb. Just climb. Yep. You don't have to worry about anything else. Just climb. Power up. Okay. I'm going to power off climb. now. 800. What do you want me to get to? 900? 1000 is fine. Okay. Remember, when you make, right before you make your turn, you need to put the power in, then make the turn. Yep. Alright, I need to give you your next vector, you're gonna overshoot. You need to turn to a heading of 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five, four. Left, left, zero, five, four. Maintain altitude 1,000 feet. Don't do 30 degree banks. Uh, just keep it nice and controlled, though. That's if you're turning for a final heading. I, I should not mention a carrier because it throws you off like you're like, okay, 30 years ago. So that was my fault. So you could keep it okay. nice and smooth banked. Okay. Alright, you're at 054? Yep. Okay. Let's fly this heading for a little bit. Server's clap again. Yep. 1,000 feet. Powering up. We're dropping to 900. Alright. All right. You're going to make a right hand turn and turn to a heading of zero, 170. Nice and smooth and give it, you know, 15 degrees or something. Okay. 170. 15 degrees. Bang. 1,000 feet. To 170, was it? 170. Yeah. Don't worry about your altitude. Just keep the vector pretty close to the horizon. You're going to climb and drop until you get nice, fine controls. But do not drop below 1,000. The heading 170 for now. I'm about to give you your final vector here. Alright, you're gonna finally turn to a heading of 221. You should see the runway directly ahead of you. Just make a straight in landing. 221. You should probably do it now. Yeah, yeah I'm cooking it. Man, I gave some great vectors, man. Yeah. Hats off to me. Sheesh. That's a magician.
Can I fly the space shuttle now? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm touching down now. Perfect landing. Oh my god, that was perfect. You flew the AOA all the way in. Perfect. I'm just going to learn to do it by myself without any voices in the head. You can just take <laughs> off if you want. If you want to just go back up. Touch and go. Yep. Remember, you're trimmed up, your nose up, so it's a higher degree angle when you just do a takeoff trim. So. Yeah. Flaps all the way down, yeah. Flaps up, gears up. I think I did. Flaps are still. Yeah, because of my Remember, speed. You gotta, just, get, you gotta get fast, it's yeah, fine. I'm just over 220 now, I'm guessing they're coming up slowly. Over 250. Maybe faster. Three hundred. Your flaps are eight percent deployed. Eight percent. Yes. So yeah, well, they're up. They're up on auto, but I've got them full forwards on my stick. Well, if you're if you're climbing or dropping, your flaps will fluctuate still. So okay. you need to get level if you really want to. Okay, I'm level. seven degrees and those up. That might yeah. be it. I guess. I wish it showed me that on the HUD. Okay, we're going to slow down here. Down. We're doing 350. Checking the flaps. There are, how many degrees now? They're four. Four degrees. Yeah. Now there's six. Let me know on your level. Yeah, I'm level so you, of 330 knots. Oh. So your flaps your flaps in your stabilizers work in conjunction to get you the best turns and all that so they don't ever fully 100% go away yeah I'll speed up the 400 we'll see what happens they'll still do be redeployed but yeah you know. they'll come up a bit like if you went nose down they'd probably get 100% in yeah for about yeah You just had them at 2%. Okay, I'm at 400 knots. I just kind of like put the nose down. Uh, just a tad. 3%. Yeah. You're locked at 3% right here. Okay, at 400 level. I'll speed up more. Just interesting. 2%. Up oh, 3. 2. Five hundred knots on level. What are they at now? Still the same? Two degrees? Yeah. Yeah. No full afterburner. Okay. One percent. Level. Six forty. You're at the speed. You're breaking the speed there. Yep, my four point one. There we go. <laughs> okay. That's pretty interesting. I didn't know that about the Hornet. Yep. The surfaces are not completely up until you're in until you hit Mach whatever. Over Mach one, yeah.
I slept most of the day, man. Because you were up for like 24 something hours, weren't you? Yesterday. And on with me for 12 hours ish. <laughs> I hate sleeping all day because in order to get me some hours in my day I have to stay up. Uh, also I'll be in bed by another four hours. You will be or you should should be. Well, if I, if I want to <laughs> get up at a decent time on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe at work at 5.30 on Monday. Yeah. So I can see if anyone's got any. See so what's going on in chat. Whoop. Okay. Limitless factor. How you going, buddy? Right. Oh, and thanks for the follow too. Limitless. I don't know if I said that when you did it. I gotta set up that so I can see when people are doing it. I only just started streaming just to share with my mate what I was doing so I could help him, <laughs> you know. I thought, oh, bugger I get to record the videos now as well. I might help some other people as well. All right, let's see how we coming in here. Might want to get on speed. Oh, we're coming in a little off. You're up. Okay, 10 degrees. You locking me up, eh? Good. Just making sure that works. <laughs> okay, I might get on speed. Speed, so we just throttle right back, uh, gear, and flaps all the way down. Gonna fight the nose, that's right. And then I've got a power as the ease dropping. Fight, pull it back. And trim at the same time. Power. Trim. Trimity, trim, trim. Power, little power. Oh, trimming the wrong way. Fuel low. Fuel low. Well, it's a good time to come in. Power. Trim. 
trim power off a little bit a little bit more trim power power on approach power off power on trim down power trim up trim up trim up trim up power off back trim down trim down power is going to need to be needed to clear these buildings So you coming underneath me. <laughs> now I'll bring my power back. Power, power, trim. Trim, trim, trim. Power down. Here we are. Power up, power up. Trim. Power back here. Ride this wave. Well, trim down. Trim up. Power up a little. Trim down. Power back. Trim up a little. Uh, trim down. Power up. Power up. Power back. I'm going to bring the power back again. Power up, power up, power up. Slowly. Power back, power back. Just bring it in gently. Try and line this baby up. That's where I want to land. Who's at the end of the runway there? Look at that carrier, I believe. Okay, right down. There we go. I did it! All by myself without a strange voice in my head. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. <laughs> hey? That was pretty bad. What was bad about it? No, it was actually pretty good. <laughs> but the reason why you had to keep bobbing up and down is yeah. you, were, you were so low. You When you entered the beach, you are at 400 feet. Um, yeah. Should probably be at... Sorry, you should be at like 1,000 feet. My man. But all in all, pretty good. 1,000 feet. Good so when I was at the beach, good. I should have been at 1,000 feet, you said. You should be like at 1,200 feet. 1,200 feet. Okay, I was a bit too low. A bit. Uh, yeah, I almost quit the buildings. <laughs> I was getting close to them. I had to put the power up to uh, clear them a bit. Need gas. Oh yeah. Look at the orientation from the gates. Oh, what? say again. I'm reading the channel. Oh, yeah, in the DCS. So I'm just going to break this video up. Whoa.